networking with a Cohesity cluster. There will be times when you need to add VLANs, additional VLANs on a Cohesity cluster. Anytime you add a VLAN on a Cohesity cluster, you also want to make sure that you add a VIP to the Cohesity cluster. And that would be one VIP per node. What a VIP is, is a virtual IP address. This is a floating IP address. The address needs to be in DNS as an A record in a round robin fashion. This is how the work gets distributed across multiple nodes. Now on to the demo. Thing you want to do from the main dashboard is click under settings, networking. First tab you have is a summary ID. We only have one node in this example with two network interfaces, both into a bond. We have bond zero, bond one, and they map to interface groups. In order to create a VLAN, let's click on the VLAN tab. And we're gonna hit add VLAN on the right hand side. This pops us into another menu. First thing you see is the word interface group. You hit the drop down, you can select which interface group. We'll select interface group one for this example. We're gonna add VLAN 100. Put in the IP range and subnet. Uh, let's see, do a slash 24. I'm gonna put a gateway in this case, but you can have a gateway if this is a routed VLAN. Once we hit save, at the bottom now we have interface group dot VLAN. If we wanted to add more than one, just click add VLAN again. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add VIPs for this particular VLAN and then we'll repeat the process for the rest. Adding VIPs for a cluster, you'll select your interface group. Now, notice that it shows interface, it defaults interface group one. We just created a VLAN 100, so we need to select that from the drop down menu. And then we can add our IP range in here. Uh, so maybe we want to start with 50. Now we only have one node, so I, in that example, we'd only need to add one. But let's say if you had an existing cluster, maybe you had 10 nodes, we can go ahead and, and add 10. Something that is new in 6.6 is an internal DNS where you have a stub zone map to the cohesity cluster to your DNS. In this case, the biggest use case use case for that would be using smart files or using Cohesity as a NAS device. Right now I'm not doing that, so we're going to continue on. 192.168.5.50 all the way to 58. If we look further down on the list of IPs, you'll see one for interface group 2 and the rest are for interface group.1.100. We can go onto the second page or if we want to put all of it, we can hit this button on the right hand side, disable pagination. One thing you'll notice is you don't see uh, an IP address for interface group one with nothing, and that's because this is a one node cluster. We don't have a VIP address assigned. So now let's go ahead and add a couple more VLANs. This is where, just to make this a little bit more complex, we'll add a second interface group. We'll add uh, 200. Uh, we'll do 101010 10, 10, uh, 10 slash 24, I guess. And save and then we'll add one other VLAN. We'll put this one on interface group 2 this time and then we'll call this VLAN 500. All right now we'll put this on the 15 subnet and hit save. So now we have VLAN 100 interface group 1.100 interface group 1.200 interface group 2 500 and depending on how you want to set up. Knows we all have VIPs, so we need to set up VIPs for the other ones. So let's go ahead and do that. Lagged a little bit there. All right, and uh, I'll just keep it nice and easy with the VIPs and hit save. Now I could add a custom DNS entry if I did have my DNS records. I could put, you know, uh, VLAN 200 and then Cohesity A as an example if I wanted to. I would just need to make sure I have those DNS records in a round robin fashion in, inside DNS. So now we have those listed at the bottom. And let's go ahead and add some bits for our final, final range, which is the dot 500. And it is on the 15 subnet. And that's how you would do add a VLAN in VIP addresses. Thank you for watching.